Hare Krishna, everyone. Thank you for joining. Shri Bhattam class, Om Sangha, and uh, attentive chanting. Thank you so much. Let's uh, keep going uh, with the Prithu Maharaj. And as you remember last time, the four Kumaras came to meet him. And uh, now he's taken the opportunity to ask them questions. And he's asking question not just for himself, he's asking them for our benefit. This is the, the greatness of the great souls that they always inquire for the whole of mankind. And Pithumar was he was a he was empowered uh, king, so you know for the benefit of all the citizens, we are like all his citizens as well, and he's asking us for our benefit. So Prithumaraj inquired from the sages about persons entangled in this dangerous material existence because of their previous actions. Could such persons? whose only aim is sense gratification, be blessed with any good fortune. Prithu Maharaj continued, My dear sirs, there is no need to ask about your good and bad fortune because you are always absorbed in spiritual bliss. The mental concoction of the auspicious and inauspicious does not exist in you. I am completely assured that personalities like you are the only friends for persons who are blazing in the fire of material existence. I therefore ask you how in this material world we can very soon achieve the ultimate goal of life. So this is all for our, our benefit. The Supreme Person of Godhead is always anxious to elevate the living entities who are his parts and parcels. And for their special benefit, the Lord travels all over the world in the form of self-realized persons like you. So let's pray. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Mukham Koti Vachalam, Pangum Langyate Grim, Yatkir Patam Hamande, Shri Guru Di Dharanam, Brahman and Damadvam, Shri Chaitanya Ishram, Riyam Tassad, Narayanam Namaskritya, Naram Cheva, Narotamam, Devim Sarsvatim, Vyasam, Tato Jayam Udiriyet. Nasta Priyashyap Abhadreshu Nityam Bhagavat Sevya Bhagavati Uttam Shloke Bhakti Bhavati Nishtiki Hare Krishna. So Sanat Kumar, the best of the celibates, after hearing the speech of Prithu Maharaj, was meaningful, appropriate, full of precise words and very sweet to hear, smiled with full satisfaction and began to speak as follows. So Prithu Maharaj have asked him the questions. And now Sant Kumar is going to reply on behalf of all the the all the all, the, all his brothers, all four of them together. So he is leading on this. Sant Kumar said, My dear King Prithu, I am very nicely questioned by you. Such questions are beneficial for all living entities, especially because they are raised by you, who are always thinking of the good of others. Although you know everything, you ask such questions. Because that is the behavior of saintly persons. Such intelligence is befitting your position. So we should try and build that uh, quality in ourselves as well. Ask questions for other people. Try and help everyone. Maharaj Pithu was well conversant in transcendental science. Yet he's presented himself before the Kumaras as one ignorant of it. The idea is that even if a person is very exalted and knows everything, before his superior, he should present questions. For instance, although Arjun knew all the transcendental science, he questioned Krishna as if he didn't know. Similarly, Prithu Maharaj knew everything, but he presented himself before the Kumars as if he didn't know anything. The idea is that the questions by exalted persons put before the Supreme Person of Godhead or his devotees are meant for the benefit of the general people. Therefore, sometimes great personalities put themselves in that position and inquire from a higher authority because they are always thinking of the benefit of others. So it's very important to have questions ready that uh, you can ask a great personality when you see them 
um, we have a class with them, ask them the questions, which will benefit everyone. Especially when you know the answer and you know that this answer is going to benefit others as well. And if it comes from this person, people will definitely want to, they will take note and hopefully, uh, you know, work on that uh, advice as well. When there is a congregation of devotees, their discussions, questions and answers become conclusive to both the speaker and the audience. So such a meeting is beneficial for everyone's real happiness. Hearing discussions among the devotees is the only means to receive the powerful message of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. For instance, Bhagavita has been well known all over the world for a very long time, especially in the Western world. But because the subject matter was not discussed by devotees, there was no effect. Bhagavita has been here for hundreds of years in this country. I've seen a copy of the very old uh, Gita, and it was only available to the, the royalty at one time. But nobody, you know, they, they read it. It's like a souvenir, then, you know, scripture that to follow. But because the subject matter was not discussed by devotees, there was no effect. Not a single person in the West became Krishna conscious before the Krishna consciousness movement was founded. But when the same Bhagavad Gita was presented as it is through an, the disciplic succession, the effect of spiritual realization was immediately manifested. So it's, there's a lot more potency when he's spoken, delivered by devotees. Sanat Kumar, one of the Kumars, informed Prithu Maharaj that his meeting with the Kumaras benefited not only Maharaj Prithu, but the Kumaras as well. When Narada Muni questioned Lord Brahma about the Supreme Personality Godhead, Lord Brahma thanked Narada Muni for giving him a chance to speak about the Supreme Lord. Therefore, questions put by a saintly person to another saintly person about the Supreme Personality Godhead or about the ultimate goal of life surcharge everything spiritually. So everyone benefits, even the speaker benefits. Whoever takes advantage of such discussions, it benefited both in this life and in the next. Generally, there are two classes of men, the materialistic and the transcendentalists. By hearing discussions between devotees, both the materialist and the transcendentalist are benefited. The materialist is benefited by association of the devotees because his life then becomes regulated so that his chance of becoming a devotee or making the present life successful for understanding the real position of the living entities increased. When one takes advantage of this opportunity, he is assured of a human form of life in the next birth. Or he may be liberated completely and go back home, back to Godhead. The conclusion is that if one participates in a discussion of devotees, he is both materially and spiritually benefited. The speaker and the audience are both benefited and the karmis and ganis are benefited. So there is no loss of uh, such discussions, such meetings in this life or in our further lives. Sanat Kumar continued, My dear King, you already have an inclination to glorify the lotus feet of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Such atta attachment is very difficult to achieve. But when one has attained such unflinching faith in the Lord, it automatically cleanses lusty desires from the core of the heart. So by association with devotees, dirty things within the heart of a materialistic man are gradually washed away by the grace of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So it's like, give an example, as silver becomes shiny by being polished, the heart of a materialist person is cleansed of lusty desires by the good association of devotees. Actually, the living being has no connection with this material enjoyment, nor with lusty desires. He is simply imagining or dreaming whilst asleep. But by the association of, of pure devotees, he is awakened and immediately the spirit soul is situated in his own glory by understanding his constitutional position as the eternal servant of the Lord. So Prithamara was already a self-realized soul. Therefore, he had a natural inclination 
to glorify the activities of Supreme Personality Godhead. And the Kumaras assured him that there was no chance of his falling victim to illusory energy of the Supreme Lord. In other words, the process of hearing and chanting about the glories of the Lord is the only means to clarify the heart of material contamination. By the process of karma, gyan, and yoga, no one will succeed in driving away contamination from the heart. But once a person takes to the shelter of the Lord's feet of the Lord by devotional service, automatically all dirty things in the heart are removed without difficulty. So, example is given here: the karma, gyan, and yoga are lower on the on the ladder of bhakti, whereas uh, bhakti yoga is the topmost. Because bhakti yoga, you already know that uh, you are a spirit soul. It's mentioned again and again. You already know that you are a servant of Krishna, and Krishna is God. And you already know that you have to serve him and you have to please him. But with the other yogas, you go through a lot of austerity, many, many years of hardship, and then you realize this thing. You know? So, Gyan, Yoga, Karma, Karma Yoga, you know, after all that time, you just come to the same conclusion, whereas you already know in Bhakti Yoga, and you start from that point. Rather going around in a marathon and then you start the real race, you're already there from the beginning. It has been conclusively decided in the scriptures after due consideration that the ultimate goal for the welfare of human society is detachment from the bodily concept of life and increased and steadfast attachment for the Supreme Lord, who is transcendental. So that explains that uh, beyond the modes of material nature. Everyone in human society is engaged for the ultimate benefit of life. But persons who are in the bodily conception cannot achieve the ultimate goal. Nor can they understand what it is. The ultimate goal of life is described in Bhagavad Gita. Param Dhristva Nivartate. When one finds out the supreme goal of life, he naturally becomes detached from the bodily concept. Here in this verse, the indication, indication is that one has to steadfastly increase attachment for the transcendence. As confirmed in the Vedanta Sutra, Atato Brahma Jigyasa, without inquiry about the Supreme or the transcendence, one cannot give up attachment for this material world. So it's not possible to break away from the illusory energy or the, or the material uh, attractions. You can't, you can't break away because you have to be attached to something. You can't break away. So only when you attach yourself to the higher taste, then the other will automatically, you will automatically get release from there. You can't release by itself because then you have nothing to hold on to. There's nothing else to go on to. You have, now you have to hold on to something. But if you found something bigger and better, then it's like a child. He finds a better toy, he will give up that toy you know, he's holding. He'll throw that away and pick up uh, something a bit better or what he thinks perceives to be a bit better. But if you try to take the toy from the child as it is, you know, he will scream and shout that uh, you know, he doesn't want to give up the toy. I think it's a bit like that with us. We cannot give give up uh, our attachment until we have something that we can appreciate is better. By the evolutionary process in 8.4 million species of life, one cannot understand the ultimate goal of life because in all the species, species of life, the bodily conception is very prominent. So, Atato Brahma Jigyasa means that in order to get out of the bodily conception, one has to increase the attachment to or inquiry about Brahman, which is like spirit or spirit soul. Then he can be situated in the transcendental devotional service, Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smarnam. <coughs> to increase attachment for Brahman, means to engage in devotion service. Those who are attached to the impersonal form of Brahman 
cannot remain attached for very long. Impersonalist, after rejecting this world as Mithya or false Jagan Mithya, come down again to the Jagan Mithya, although they take sannyas to increase their attachment for Brahman. Similarly, many yogis who are attached to the localized aspect of Brahman as Paramatma, great sages like Vishwamitra, also fall down as victims of women. Therefore, increased attachment for the Supreme Person of Godhead is advised in all Shastras. So very important that we just don't try to release ourselves like a yogi or a jnani. We attach ourselves to something higher. That is, that is the only way of detachment from material existence and, and it's explained in Bhagavad Gita 2.59 Param Dristva Nivartate. One can seize material activities when he actually has a taste for devotional service. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also recommended love of God as the ultimate goal of life. Prema Hum Artho Mahan. Without increasing love of God, one cannot achieve the professional stage of the transcendental position. So attachment, so Kumara, Sanat Kumar is explaining that attachment for the Supreme cannot be increased by practicing or rather can be increased by practicing devotion service. Inquiring about the Supreme Person regarded. Applying Bhakti Yoga in life. So this is the, the antidote, the formula. Attachment for the Supreme can be increased by practicing devotion service. Inquiring about the Supreme Person regarded. Applying Bhakti Yoga in life. Worshipping the Yogeshwar, the Supreme Person regarded. And by hearing and chanting about the glories of the Supreme Personal Godhead, these actions are pious in themselves. So when you do these actions, they purify us uh, from internally and externally. We get purified and we start is called anartha nibriti, and we give up those contaminations. And the more you give up, the more you're purified, the more you're attracted to Supreme Personal Godhead. When one's mind and senses are attracted to sense objects for enjoyment, the mind becomes agitated. As a result of continually thinking of sense objects, one's consciousness, be consciousness almost becomes lost, like the water in a lake that is gradually sucked up by the big brass straws on its bank. When one deviates from his original consciousness, he loses the capacity to remember his previous position or recognize his present one. When remembrance is lost, all knowledge acquired is based on a false foundation. When this occurs, learned scholars consider that the soul is lost. There is no stronger obstruction to one's self-interest than thinking other subject matters to be more pleasing than one's self-realization. For you, society, constantly thinking of how to earn money and apply for sense gratification, brings about the destruction of everyone's interests. When one becomes devoid of knowledge and devotional service, he enters into species of life like those of trees and stones. Those who strongly desire to cross the ocean of nescience must not associate with the mouths of ignorance for hedonistic activities are the greatest obstructions to realization of religious principles, economic development, regulated sense gratification and at last liberation. So one of the four principles named religion, economic development, sense gratification and liberation. Liberation has to be taken very seriously. <clears throat> the other three are subject to destruction by the stringent law nature, death. So your, whatever you achieved, economic development, sense gratification, even if regulated, that is all lost when this body is uh, given up uh, but liberation will be useful to you when you move on from this body we accept as blessings different states of higher life distinguishing them from lower states of life but we should know that such distinctions exist only in relation to the interchange of the modes of material nature Actually, these states of life have no permanent existence, but all of them will be destroyed by the Supreme Controller. 
So Sanat Kumar advised the king, therefore, my dear King Prithu, try to understand the Supreme Personality Godhead who is living within everyone's heart along with the individual soul in each and every body, either moving or no, not moving. The individual souls are fully covered by the gross material body and subtle body made of life, air and intelligence. So that is the advice of Sanat Kumar, at least part of the advice uh, he's giving on benefit of all mankind. So King Prithu has asked him, you know, how what what can uh, the human society do to get out of this uh, samsara? And the Sanat Kumar has told him that there is only one way to detach ourselves from leisure energy, and that is to attach ourselves to something which is much higher than we'll automatically give up. And uh, I think as devotees, you're finding that how you know our habits are changing, our tastes are changing, or how we spend our time is changing. It's it's just it's automatic. You know, it's uh, everything we're doing self purifying you see you know it just happens and you don't even realize it but it takes time it's a it's a slow process you can't uh no, having said that this is probably the fastest process if you if you compare it to karma yoga gyan yoga um the yogis who are uh practicing um uh, trying to see the the Super soul in the heart, Ashtang yogis. Uh, this this is the fastest and the easiest process, but nothing happens overnight. So thank you all so much for joining. Hina Mataji, uh, iPhone Prabhu, who's just gone, <laughs> Vishani Mataji, Partha Prabhu, Parmin Mataji, Parim Prakash Prabhu, and Sarvashriya Mataji. Thank you so much. Um, and would love to hear from your views on this. And as mentioned, that speaker and the listeners, they both benefit and nice to have a discussion. Well, I am happy to ask questions. Uh, you know, we should, this is a Sangha, we, we're sharing our understanding, our knowledge, our realizations. So uh, please go ahead, uh, Hina Mataji, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Prabhu, Dandat Pranam, everyone. Thank you for the reading this morning. Um, yeah, Maybe I really like this you? verse. Oh, can you not hear me? No, I can hear you. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Oh, sorry, Prabhu. Um, yeah, thank you for the reading. I was just saying, um, really nice verse, um, which covers uh, Sonat Kumar's advice, the Prithu Maharaj, um, the, the value of and he emphasizes the, the value of um, spiritual um, conversations and how important that any progress on the bhakti path, that there is no loss. Um, and it kind of really does make you realize that, you know, that should be our priority. You know, all other material pursuits not connected or dovetailed to Krishna is simply a waste of, a waste of time because it's not eternal. Um, so and it just reminded me of a lecture I listened to from Rabbanat Swami and he was saying that really uh, in summary and he's, he, he said something like basically that all there is is Radha Krishna really when you look at it that that's that's all that you know that's <clears throat> that should be our main focus you know that should be our goal of life and that um, we focus in our attention and our desires to Krishna and letting go of the material illusions of of this life, you know, is, is the goal, really. You know, we need to just look, uh, continuously strive as well to get ourselves pure, to become purified, as you, as you said in the verse, to become self-realized. That should be, uh, you know, ultimate, ultimate priority in life, prioritizing our spiritual life, worship and devotional service to Krishna, really. And that's all that, all, that's all that matters, really, <laughs> in, a, in a nutshell, which is so nicely put in this verse. So thank you so much, Prabhu. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Mataji. Uh, Ishani Mataji? Hare Krishna, Prabhuji, Tanvir Pranam to all. Um, there are, and that was an amazing class, Prabhu, and there are many points to be taken today. But I'll start with the basic, which I took um, 
basically i uh, when you know when uh, all the vaishnavas are talking to each other the first thing i really admire and generally see in all the sanghas mm -hmm. and here as well prithu maharaj was doing the same thing you know glorification before asking anything from the vaishnavas every you know in all the past times i've seen that mostly the vaishnavas glorify each other or the senior vaishnava as to whom we have to ask the question so that is really a point to be taken like the glorification of vaishnavas before asking question we should first glorify and then go go ahead with the with our questions and uh, for the questions as well um even you know when we hear to the lectures even we are here to our guru maharaj uh, we don't have many questions in our mind at that time but that's a good point that we should uh, take uh, you know we, we should uh, write down some questions before the class or during the class uh, even for the benefit of others even you know uh, sometimes related to the uh, subject we are not having any question but that's a good point to be highlighted that we should ask questions like in gita is also mentioned that we need pranipadena prane prashne in a sevaya it's not always for our benefit we might know the answer we might have asked earlier but uh, somebody might benefit out of that hari krishna hari krishna yes thank you so much mati absolutely and uh, well this is a thing that uh, we we just thinking about ourselves most of the time we think about i know this very nothing uh, <laughs> or, I, or i know already knew all this anyway but i've just heard in the class and we leave it at that isn't it normally this like uh, i'm talking about myself here that you think oh yeah i knew this already so there's really nothing i want to ask but yes uh, really got to build that uh, and i have to tell myself that i must build that uh, mood that uh, try and help people because i think uh, and i might know this but there might be something here that might be beneficial to people maybe you know new people have come maybe we can help them i think you always have that mood that let's today let's try and help somebody you know they, they'll pick up something and it's amazing that uh, you know we, we do we do listen to question answers more than sometimes we listen to the class and you know, we take note because you know it, it's just it just uh, you know there's like agenda isn't there you know like oh this is a question and you're sort of curious oh, what is the answer to that you know you, you, because class is like a whole thing and sometimes in your mind is going in and out in and out but you know question is short and it's like oh yeah i want to know about that i didn't know that and it's more, more interesting more right? condensed yeah more condensed and you want you want to know the answer and sometimes you remember the question and answer rather than the class so yeah it's very very important thank you so much mother um so i think mother thank you for joining mother shams and the prabhu i think uh, probably i don't know uh, if you heard anything or, or you've been disconnected or something but anyway hari krishna nice to have you uh, partha prabhu uh, hari krishna prabhu ji hari krishna yeah I mean, so many nice points I, i felt like listening to bhagavatam canto 1 right from beginning today because it is mentioned about like inquiring for the mankind so that's what we see like naima saranya sages met because they want to know what will happen to, for the people in kali yuga and that's where they started asking questions and from that questions um, later followed by parishad maharaj questions only we got bhagavatam so i i, I was thinking probably like even though even i don't get questions um at least at that point in time as mata ji was saying ishani mata ji so i i just make a note of some questions afterwards when i listen to the class at least 3 4 times then i at least understand little bit then i start putting some questions on the book um at least i get a chance to ask during sunday sangha or whenever we meet the people and i was thinking like even though you don't get questions but if you are at least part of those people discussion like who where the preacher is there where the the person who asks questions is there at least you be a part of that group also it is more enough than you yourself getting questions because as you said like when they ask questions that will give us realizations as well so even though you yourself don't get questions um another point is this is assured of human life so not having human life is the greatest danger here because 
there is no karma and you cannot make progress if you don't have a human life. The consciousness won't be there. So Bhakti is assuring that at least you will get a human life and you can make progress in your next life. And uh, the whole the whole thing what we are reading today resembles like Adho Sridha, Sadhu Sangha, Bhajana Kriya, Anadha Nivruti and uh, like Ruchi, Vasakti, Bhava, Prema. So, so listen to listen attentively and have Sadhu Sangha then involve in Bhajana Kriya. Uh, and as you said, like other yoga start, they finally come to part of, come to the conclusion of bhakti and then they start. Whereas bhakti, you're starting, you're already there at that point and making a progress. That's all for me. Thank you. You're absolutely right. Very nice. So, yeah, because uh, <clears throat> you're getting purified. They, they try to become purified and then they start doing bhakti. Whereas we are uh, uh, purified as we go along. It's pay as you go. Kind of uh, scenario instead of instead of you know getting the, uh, the you know the, the opportunity to pay uh, after you know after whatever period it takes them here you, you know it's as you go and uh, this is the culture now is pay as you go uh, for everything nowadays so why not for bhakti you know just pay as you go and you, you're getting the the results and you know you, you're getting the service straight away. So, so, yeah, wonderful. Thank you. Okay. And then this is moving up and down. Praveen Mataji, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Prabhupada, Dhan Pranam. Yeah, thank you so much. Very nice class and very nice points by everybody. So, feeling very fortunate to be among all the devotees. And I want to say thank you again to Partha Prabhu because last class I missed Sunday Sangha and Prabhu asked to put it on the in a group chat so everybody can benefit. So that's a very good quality, you know. So, yeah, thank you so much. And, yeah, the only thing is, like, uh, yes, devotional service, so association of devotees and hearing, so basically developing higher taste. And we can see the difference as well. So when we are with devotees and attending sanghas, there are only good side effects of everything. So we come back more charged and everything. And whereas, like, other parties, you come back with, negativity so like my sister-in-law was visiting me at the weekend and and she was very happy and you know she was watching me making prasad and everything and then she was admiring because they are very very like big meat eaters and now she was she's changing you know and then she was saying i'm learning so much from you so which is a very good point and felt happy that we can you know indirectly preach as well to the family you know so she can see what we are doing now and yeah so I felt very good and you know thank you to everybody and Prabhupada you know so for us to put you know we can show other people as well you know the way of living and just a big thank you to everybody so that is a very good achar prachar Mataji yes so now I was so happy Mataji because well, uh, you are my family, everybody, because like they used to talk about me so much because we've been vegetarian from beginning. Oh, they don't eat anything. Oh, she doesn't give her children anything like eggs or meat or anything. So, but now she was completely changed. And then I was emphasized and she was appreciating everything. And it's so nice, Bambi. So I said, no, yeah, Sita, because it's been offered to the Lord, you know, and that's why it is tasty. Otherwise, it's not, you know, so it's a mercy. So, yeah, it is very good. So thank you for teaching us all this, Mataji and Prabhuji. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. We show by example and uh, eventually people start taking note. They might not take notes yet. The first, I think first impression is what are these people doing? Is is you know, it affects their enjoyment because they want to do things with you that, uh, you know, you're used to doing or what they're doing. But then they start realizing when they see your seriousness, they start realizing, hang on, this must be something here. Start taking note and then they realize, yes, this is definitely, you know, something worth inquiring about. And, you know, slow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he always inquires because she she's mostly here. She stays Saturday night. So Sunday we have a Bhagavatam class and then she'll always ask, so what did you, you know, read in it today? So which is very good. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you so much. Prem Kash Prabhu? 
Uh, today I was mostly listening to Vivi and it was really nice um, to hear that I mean, I mean it's a re it seems like to be a reason class to be honest I mean the basics are forgotten over the period of time and then we actually start going again into the basics and that's very nice to actually see that how Prithu Maharaj considered I mean Prithu Maharaj's father derided uh, actually Brahmanas he and then Prithu Maharaj actually revived the culture of Brahmanas when uh, four Kumaras actually appeared he actually said that uh, my kingdom belongs to you so it's always uh, I mean it was really wonderful to actually understand uh, the percep uh, perception of Prithu Maharaj how he actually being even Saktavesh Avtar Supreme Personality of Godhead he is still is so humble and actually teaching the entire world how to uh, how to actually respect Brahmanas and what mood one should have while actually carrying on the services uh, in the world, basically. And that's amazing, to be really honest. Prithu Maharaj did wonderful activities as well. And the one thing that actually took me again is something, uh, the, the taste to, uh, to leave a particular habit, one has to achieve the higher taste, basically. And once he is attached to the higher taste, the the lower activities is still, and is I mean, by itself goes away. And you rightly said, Trivuji, is that as once once as you said basically that once you are attached with higher taste, then it active uh, then the lower taste, lower activities automatically goes away. The important thing you also said, Trivuji, is that the yogis and jnanis attached try to actually liberate themselves. However, in bhakti once we try to attach to the bhakti process basically and once we are attached to bhakti process then everything is achieved so it's i mean if you see the other perception and they actually consider the jnana yoga and actually karma yoga to the best basically or at the equal level but if you see an empty glass from two people one say that the glass is half empty and one says the glass is half full basically you obviously consider the person having better perception of the objects, of the things basically, who says the class is half full. So similarly, once we attach, so we are talking about attachment to the Supreme Personality of God, which is much more higher than person who actually says that we are trying to get liberated from the material world in the sense they might, they might even end up actually going to... Uh, Back into Loka as well, getting liberated. That's not big deal. Um, that that could have that could be a destination for them as well. But when we see that we, we are attaching ourselves to a bhakti process, that means we are going to have relation. Or the, I mean, I'm not saying thinking about myself. I mean, Krishna actually be merciful on me basically to achieve the same. But people who are attached in bhakti, they have relationship. But where is the liberation? We are talking about detachment. And the attachment and relationship with the Supreme Personality of Godhead means that you are going to stay with him. Where Krishna actually says that you go, the person who actually worships me is going to come and stay with, uh, come to me basically. From that perspective, it's very amazing to understand that because you get a relationship with Krishna and wherever Krishna is there, you get to stay with him. So it's beyond everything. And once actually we have, I mean, these are all the understanding, uh, Jnana, Yoga, Karma, that Krishna is supreme, everything. But once you are attached with Krishna, we are not even bothered if it's too late for us to understand that Krishna is even not supreme, whether he's supreme or not. It doesn't really matter. Now we are Krishnas. Whether Whatever Krishna is, whether, whether, he, whether Krishna takes us, rejects us, gives a different understanding, doesn't really matter. It's a love for Krishna and attachment to Krishna that's that's what matter. All the jnana yoga and these are thus just coming to an end that you accept Krishna. But once you accept one, one, once a person accepts Krishna, everything doesn't matter. Really doesn't matter. It's Krishna is everything. Vasudevan Sarvamiti Samahatma Sadarlava. So having that understanding is beyond everything. And it's also very very, very, very important that we meet each other, we glorify each other. And to be really honest, it humbles the person who is glorifying and it humbles the person who is glorified.
and that's what we are actually look, looking in the rational culture, isn't it? So that's really important. We should be thinking of doing it. Uh, thank you, Ruby. Really. The rest of the points have already discussed. So that's nice that's what I have to say. Thank you, Ruby. Really. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. Sureshi Madhuri. Everybody, I think everything has been discussed. Um, I mean, all the points have been discussed by the previous um, um, devotees uh, at the moment. And um, I would like to say only that um, spiritual master is very important in our life to everybody uh, because every there's a God. Everybody knows there's a God. Even the non-devotees know that there's a God. The devotees know. But actually, the spiritual master who will introduce to you about the God and the qualities of God and what should we do, how to do devotional service so we can go back to Godhead. Without the spiritual master, we, could, we can't understand, we won't know God. So that spiritual master is very, very important. That's why we, have, we get initiated and they connect us to the um, Supreme Lord. So benefit we get that we have love for Krishna and then we uh, we avoid repeated birth and death. And about the questions, asking questions is very important because say three people get benefit, then one who answers the question, uh, um, ask the question, who answers the question, and those who listen, three people, they get benefit. And it's all within the uh, Prithu Maharaj, uh, I mean, Sun Kumar was saying to Prithu Maharaj, is the devotional service. Nothing is higher than devotion service. You have to do the work because it's, because it's about Jnana Yoga, Dhyan Yoga, Karma Yoga. It's only devotion, devotional service. You'll get out of repeated breath and death. So it emphasized everything, even Bhagavad and Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavad and everywhere is devotional service, only devotional service. Nothing higher than that. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Mandaji. Does anyone say something? Yeah. Hare Krishna, everyone. Thank you for beautiful questions and uh, discussions and realizations. I just wanted to add that, uh, you know, when we glorify the Vaishnavas, actually we have been given chance to glorify the Krishna, uh, glorify Krishna, because we know Paramatma is there in each and every being. So that is so important and we should never forget it. And uh, another thing I just wanted to, I was thinking that, you know, when we see a bird flying high in the sky, we admire, oh, such a nice quality. But if you give the, the bird a notebook and a pen, can the bird write its name? No. And if you had a Bhagavatam lecture going on or, a, or any anything to do with the glories of the Lord going on, they won't understand anything. So we have to think that how fortunate we are that after going around in the different, different uh, species life cycle, we have come to this stage now. So this is the only, only vessel which we are in, this body. Body is the only medium which is going to liberate us. So I would ask all of you to look after your health. Like Prabhupada always reminded us that health should be number one. So please look after your health. It's so important because this is the only vessel which we are in our body, which is going to help us to glorify Lord, understand Lord, share the Lord's name and progress in our bhakti. So we do get nearer our goal, the ultimate goal in life. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, such an important thing. And this body, when you, when you think about it that way, then, you know, it's, it's there for a very special purpose. And why, why shouldn't we look after it and, you know, make sure it's working at its optimum level? Because it's, it's, it's a very, you know, we always thought body was there to enjoy, enjoy, enjoy until it, falls down and dies, you know, just enjoy it to the last minute. But if you think about it, if it's bhakti and it's, it's like that that's what's going to get us out, it's the key that that's going to get it out and get us out of this, uh, you know, material world, then we really got to look after it and, uh, you know, make sure it's working properly and and it keeps working properly. You know, it's, it's a very precious thing. It's like somebody, uh, you know, buys a a Rolls Royce car, you know, they want to make sure it's nicely polished, cleaned, 
Uh, all the engine is tuned. The tires are, you know, all set properly. So you know, like when 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 it when you see because he, this person only wants to take his car out and show it to other people. And it's a diff, it's a crude example, but the saying that when you value something or when you recognize the value of something, then you look after it. Uh, so similar with the body, you know, when you realize that this body, the human form is so important and you don't even know whether you get another opportunity, then yeah, you, you look after it nicely so you can use it to your advantage and use it properly. Wonderful. Thank you all so much. Uh, let's do a couple of rounds and please Krishna nicely do some good rounds. And uh, thank you so much. I'm just going to stop. Uh, Sureshi Mataji, you okay to the first round and uh, Parveen Mataji? Thank you.